friends to the end. Remember? This is the end, friend. What's up, you guys? So today I'm out here in downtown Chicago. And today we're going to be covering the 1988 film Child's Play filming locations. So the first filming location is here. In the movie, this is where Mrs. Barkley would have worked at right here. Now it's a Target, but in the film, it was a, some type of a apartment or, or jewelry store or something like that where she was working and so this is about the angle you would have seen here in the film and this is where she was this is where she worked and when she got the doll for um for andy she would have met the homeless guy in the back of uh, the department store but where she got the doll wasn't actually behind this building that's going to be to our next filming location let's roll So that's gonna bring us to our next location in the alleyway where Mrs. Barkley would have got the toy for Andy. But the alleyway wasn't back there behind Target. We're at a new location. So this is about where they would have had their conversation right here. And the homeless guy would have got mad and walked down that way. That's gonna bring us to the opening scene. So this is where the homeless man would have walked down that way. And right behind me, I'm sorry, right in front of me. This is gonna be the opening scene where Detective uh, Norris would have been chasing uh, Charles Lee Ray. They would have had their shootout coming down this way. And then they would have ran down here. And we're going to go over to where the toy store would have been. So this is just kind of the surrounding area where the toy store would have been. They got some pretty cool murals over here. We're going to walk right around to the front over here. <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed, I do movie locations, um, true crime, uh, tourist attractions, mostly in the Bay Area. I'm just out here in Chicago for a few days, so I'm covering a classic that I had to do um, coming out here. So this is where they would have had their shootout right here. So you would have the toy shop right here to your right. I'm gonna go over right this way. So they would have had uh, their shootout all throughout this intersection right here. That's the alleyway we just came from right there with the opening scene. Yes, so there was like another little building right here i believe the address was 410 but it's gone they uh demolished that so that's not here no more but detective norris he would have hid behind that wall and he would have shot at charles lee ray going into the store right there so after charles lee ray is shot his boy eddie caputo more on that a little later in the video would have left him going down that way But this was the toy store right here. The door was more here in the middle, right here. So they definitely did some renovations because the door wasn't here in the original film. See inside a little bit. But yeah, this is the intersection right here. It's 
kind of the angle you would see. Maybe I'm a little close, but that's the toy store right there. All the clouds and stuff would have been going up this way. So when Chucky convinces Andy to go all the way across the city to take him to a location where his partner, like I said at the beginning of the film, Eddie Caputo, left him after he got shot. We got off here at this train station. And it looks like they may have changed some things up. Or maybe not. I was one early. So it's not this one he got off at. It's going to be the next one up here. So they would have got off these stairs right here. Would have came down right down these stairs. Then they would have walked this way. So this is what it looks like today. So when they're going to Eddie Caputo's house, makes you think they're actually walking this way. But where they would have had his house is actually about two blocks over this way to the left. And this is where Eddie Caputo would have lived. So when Andy gets off the train, this is where we have came down this way, right there. That's where they would have had the house right there in the background. You can see the train it's pretty much the only thing that's there from this location. But this is where he would have lived. And this would have been the street right here that Mrs. Barkley was uh, walking down when she was looking for the homeless man right at this angle. So this is the intersection that Mrs. Barkley would have confronted the homeless man. It's changed a lot. Um, this is pretty much the only building that looks similar in the background that you can kind of see, but even that's changed, but it was in this intersection right here that would have made this look like an alleyway over here. So behind me right here, this is where Andy and Mrs. Barkley would have lived up here on the eighth floor. So the scene where Chucky would have pushed um, Andy's babysitter out of the window would have happened right out of that window right there up on the eighth floor. Now in the movie, they lived in apartment 8C. But this is where all that went down right here. So after Chucky pushes the babysitter out the window, she would have came crashing down onto a car about right here. And when Mrs. Barkley gets home, she gets off the bus from back here and she runs over this way to where all the police are outside of her house. Then she runs upstairs. I really want to try and get up in here and ride that elevator. But let's see what we can do. I doubt it. At least going to show you guys the door. But this is the entrance where they lived at right here.
kind of see the elevator right here. Oh, well, I wanted to go inside, but security was definitely checking me out. Um, so I'm not going to be able to get inside, but that was the entrance back there to where they lived. Said it would have been up here on the eighth floor. This is just the background, what the street kind of looks like over here. That's gonna do it with the child's play filming locations make sure you like and subscribe i have tourist attractions movie filming locations true crime thank you for watching